You want to close it or you want to? Yeah, you can close it. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, it's not horrible. It's just not good. Yeah. To be honest with you, it's not good. What is up, world? Look at this fitment. If you remember what it looked like from the previous episode, it was so bad. But this, I mean, this is tolerable. It's way better than what it was. But yeah, today we're going to be putting on the hood. It's a pretty nice day out today, despite it being really wet. But yeah, let's get it. Yeah, real quick, we're going to show you the trunk. No, just open it. Weirdo. So basically what we had to do is we had to notch the uh, hinges right here. Literally had to slot them. Like slot the holes. Yeah, not notch them, slot them. To where we could move these forward towards the back of the car because it was catching right here. Yeah, and I've been a few other places, but yeah, we got it. Uh, we got it put on. We got some neoprene spacers in between, just kind of keep the vibrations down. We're gonna go to the store and get some self tappers to finalize that. And then underneath, what we did with the keyholes, we had a well, we made a bracket. We didn't have a bracket made, but we made a bracket. And basically, I've got to tighten up this screw up. I would do that today, definitely, but. These all have Loctite and everything on them. And uh, this brace right here holds the key hole forward. And this brace right here holds it on. And the latch and everything works. As you can see, he used the key to open it. And then I put a little rubber grommet right there just to kind of, you know, keep any scratches from the key from happening and just to kind of keep any water out and stuff like that. But yeah, we're gonna head to the store, get that. Um, the key to lining up this trunk. Oh, yes, 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 I'm sorry. Yes, and the final key. It was incredible, the difference <laughs> between this little tiny line and that little tiny line. As you can see, there's lines right here, and then there's a little notch right here, and you can line up these to, you know, adjust the latch. And basically, we put it on the very last uh, one and shut it. Boom. Just like that. And I mean, pretty flush. And that reflection. <laughs> but yeah, we'll be right back. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I had to take it apart to uh, fix the tail lights. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, so that switch, not that switch, that plug, it'll have a red and a white wire coming out of it. Yeah. Wiggle it. Yeah, that one right there. Just wiggle it up and down. Really? Yep. Yeah, for anyone uh, needing to fix your taillights, you uh, wiggle that plug right there. Press them? Uh, we'll press the brake. Yeah, your brakes come on. And it's just like wiggling wires every time I need to go somewhere. Yeah, no, we'll uh, probably pull that plug today and we'll clean it. And then we'll... Uh, <laughs> so many other plugs. Try to track that wire. I mean, we can always just straight wire it. Half of this is unnecessary. I know, dude. That's... That's okay. Unnecessary wiring. 101. Fuse, there's inline fuses in the wiring harness for oh, what? I 
was trying to delete the fuse box. Yeah, right? <laughs> Start trying to put the hood on. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Alright guys, that's it for today. We're just going to go ahead and uh, run the car like this and uh, call it a day. Figured no hood would be a lot lighter than carbon fiber, so, you know. We're done. We're done. See you later. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like so far. Uh, we just, we really just got it bolted on. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way it looks. I just want to get it fitted right. Yeah, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install some hood pins. And we're going to just cut the latch right here off. And then we're going to take the hood latch off right here and probably remove the front grill. But uh, yeah, that's it so far. All right, we're just gonna go over the uh, hood pins right quick where the hood locks. So basically what you have is this piece. It's so hard to work with one hand. You have this piece and it will go on top of the hood like that. It's a little neoprene washer and this goes through and it will basically just drop, yeah. drop it down Headlights okay. in the way. Well, we may have to raise it up <laughs> oh we can move that cover but yeah it just basically locks in like that yay Nice and easy. So we're gonna get these mounted up right quick. That way we can close the hood. All right, so our first little road bump, the hood pins that we got, they are too long. Guess what? Hitting the headlight. So what now we're gonna we do- get to cut metal with <laughs> yeah. metal. Yeah, we're just gonna take them off and cut them. So we got them cut. Now it's gonna mount them. Boom! Just like that. Clears the headlight. And put the cover back on. That way we don't get condensation or moisture inside the lens. Now on to the next side. Yeah, so we got the pilot hole drilled. Got some tape on the other side. Nice clean hole. We just went through the bottom with those carbide bits and I mean it just chewed through it and it didn't even mess up the gel coating underneath or anything. That's it. Nice. 
shit, that one, the the uh, edges didn't fray as much. Cleaner? Yeah, a little bit cleaner. <laughs> so this is a Brad Point hole. And over here on this side, we use a carbide bit. It's a lot cleaner. Just to show you the difference. We're making the bottom holes wider so that this lock mechanism can fit through the hole nice and easy. All right, so we got the hood put on. Lock latches are installed. Came out pretty good. Of course, we'll take another video in the daylight. As usual, we get done whenever it's dark. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it for tonight, guys. That looks good. And a little update on the transmission. We went and picked up a ACT Stage 3 clutch. It's a full face. 385 wheel torque capable so uh, should be plenty to handle the power that we we're gonna throw at it and then uh, we're also gonna pick up the uh, LSD conversion kit for this uh, M2Y4 trans and get that thing squared away not gonna really worry about the uh, gear set that's in there we're just gonna roll with it and if we grind through them I mean we got a whole nother spare right there so we'll just swap everything over and whatnot but uh, yeah, stay tuned because we're going to be switching more towards uh, performance upgrades and whatnot. I know we've been doing a lot of aesthetic things and uh, visual stuff. But uh, yeah, we're going to get it right 